For Daniel Day Kim, working in paradise is twice as nice. You may remember he played Jin Su Kwan on the series Lost. And now he stars on another TV show filmed in Hawaii. You know him as Chin Ho Kelly on CBS Hawaii 5 0. Hey, Chin, this is what they do. They try to get under your skin. Well, it's working. Hey, you gotta pick the personal out of it. How the hell am I supposed to do that? There's no way not to make that personal. Chin, stop. This is the game. They put you to the test. And you're gonna pass that test, but you gotta answer the questions, and you gotta answer them straight, take all the emotion out, okay? What if I was wrong? He's not wrong. Daniel Day Kim. <laughs> I saw the episode. Shh, don't tell people. I don't think he's wrong. <laughs> Hello, Daniel Day Kim. Good morning. So uh, let's start with this. What are you doing right? Because I'm thinking you've had two hit shows, both in Hawaii, lovely wife, great kids, what happened to you that you got all these blessings? I have no idea. I must have been terrible in another life, and this is kind of payback or something. But No, because you wanted to be a lawyer, I read. True? That is true. Actually, when I went to uh, undergraduate, I was going to be an attorney, and I was going to study political science. I did one of those things and uh, ended up being an actor instead. And what was it about acting that you said, I want to do that? I don't know. I think um, when I wanted to be an attorney, I think I wanted to be uh, a litigator. I wanted to be in a courtroom, and you know there are a lot of similarities between that and what I do today. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I remember Hawaii Five O exactly. growing up with this yes. show, you know, mm -hmm. and, and uh, my parents absolutely adore. What's it like to? And it was the longest-running crime show ever, right before That's CSI. Right. What's it like to to join a show that has such a rich tradition like that? Uh, it's special, especially in a place like Hawaii, where there isn't a lot of filming going on. Mm -hmm. It has such a place. Uh, in uh, the state's history, to be a part of that legacy is really is really nice, and it's very uh, welcoming to be a part of the community that way. Yeah. Is it more popular in Hawaii than in other states? Mm. I think so. Um, you know, the locals make a game out of trying to spot where everything is being shot, and if there's any kind of anachronisms with uh, locations, it's uh, it's kind of a popular sport. You told us as we sat down that Jack Lord, who made the role famous mm -hmm. and made the series original series famous, lived there, and in fact, there's a statue there. There is right outside of one of the local. Malls, there's a big uh, a bust of him, and uh, locals will come around and put lays around the bust. Oh, that's yeah. nice. So, how many people walk up to you on the street and go, da na 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 na? What is your reaction to that? Because I'll bet you get that all the time. You know, um, it's funny. I've lived in Hawaii long enough now where people don't make a big deal about me being there. I'm yeah. just a part of the community, yeah, thankfully. Yeah, that's nice. And, but they'll do things like, like that, like, you were great last night, or, you know, what happened to Kono, or they'll just that there's no introduction it's just asking they just questions start like that. and now I read that you're gonna have the viewers you're gonna incorporate the viewers you're gonna let us let us play along that we get to pick your clothes or something like that yeah it's kind are of you, are you worried it's kind of like my wife actually. <laughs> uh, wife but, is a good thing uh, am I worried about it uh, yes I mean no. what if it sees I don't want to say goofy Hawaiian shirts, but these colorful Hawaiian shirts and <laughs> Miss Max pants, because it's very colorful there. I was just in Hawaii. I love it. I love it. And I've worn my share of colorful shirts. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's but you trust the viewers. Everybody needs one. I do. Yes. And uh, it's multiple choice. So uh -huh. we're giving them a range to choose from. Mm -hmm. uh, you had to ride a motorcycle in one of the episodes, and you had to learn to ride? Yes, I, uh, I hadn't ridden before Hawaii mm -hmm. Five-0, and uh, it was one of the things I promised my dad I would never do while he was alive. And uh, mm. but you know, if I have to do it for work, I have to do it for work. And, but did uh, you enjoy it? I mean, is it something you? I do I actually. I do enjoy it, and uh, I own a, real, a motorcycle in real life now. Mm -hmm. Oh, and what does your wife say about that? Because you've been married uh, that's for right. close to twenty years. <laughs> that's right. Two lovely sons. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Doesn't she wife? do her research well? <laughs> she does. I'm quite impressed. No, so well that, listen, I was on Twitter. This is what your son said on uh -huh. Christmas Day. I will be happy with whatever I get from you because I have friends and family and the joy of Christmas with me. What kind of child is I that? I know. It sounds completely yeah. fake, doesn't oh, it? But no, I but promise it's sweet. you, this was his letter to Santa, and my wife and I found it, and, and now the secret's out. But I, we were so touched that he wrote yes, something like that. Yes, me too. Well, maybe it comes from you. I understand that you've <laughs> kept every love letter that you've ever... Wow, you received? guys really have done your research. Yes, that is That's true. Um, I have a box. Um, <laughs> Including the one from, element, from elementary school. Yeah, the ones that were folded up in little origami shapes yes. and thrown at you uh, yeah, in the middle of a classroom. I have those too. What's yeah. a love letter from elementary school like? I'm curious. Well, they're I actually, never got one of those. Uh, <laughs> mine are like 
I hate you. Come talk to me after class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, do those count? I'm not even sure. How romantical. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> or, I know someone who likes you. Yeah. Yeah. Come see me. Yeah. I like that. Daniel Day Kent, continued success on Hawaii Five-0. Yeah. You're great fun to watch. Oh, Thanks. Thank you very much. And we're proud to say you can watch Hawaii Five-0 tonight and every Friday at 9, 8 central right here on CBS.